criminal conditions preventing this within the original application for the installed spare spill, the such restrictions do not constitute a material change of use. And the applicants to confirm that no charges are proposed and the applicant no charges are proposed and indicates that the infrastructure and signs are to ensure that the car parks only used by customers from bargains at no longer than one and a half hours. And overall, the infrastructure and signs is at the minimum in scale and will not harm the immunity to surrounding properties or the regional BASB area and both applications there. Therefore, I recommend the form of approval. Thank you. Okay, thank you for that. Um, I'm not aware of a petition against, but I am aware that. So there are no applicants or objectives to be called. I'm aware of a ward councillor. Councillor Blakely, do you want to address the committee? Yes. Thank you, Chair. Yes, members. Uh, I wouldn't normally remove an application such as this from delegated authority, uh, but I've had, certainly over the last 12 months, a huge amount of complaints. Uh, and this might not be a planning issue, but I'll get to planning issues later. Uh, this might put in context a huge amount of complaints about how parking yard operates on this site, uh, with people saying that the camera picks them up on the way in, doesn't pick them on the way out, they go in the next day, and then they're issued a ticket for being there for 26 hours. Uh, and parking yard, and it's obviously difficult uh, when you write to them, if you get a response. Um, to know the background. And I hear what the planning officers say about the equipment not causing any loss of immunity uh, and the signage. And I'm not going to disagree with that. But I will say that you know we do have, as a lot of town centres have, a huge parking problem. We have a, a large amount of roads in Morton who are requesting residents who are parking. And I've had a work sat in a working group with the High Wish um, the Business Committee to look at that. Uh, um, we got roads such as Dig Lane, Fairfield Crescent, Lenton Road, Dorney, Geneva, Joan Avenue, Holt Avenue. The list goes on. All the residential roads that are within the town centre suffer with car park. Uh, and there are some waiting restrictions on some roads, there aren't on others. But even they can be on what it is, people will park whatever they can if they can get away with it. So when we look at 3.4 on the reports uh, on item 7, the development plan, plan it, 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 3.41 it says, we're not going to do development plan policy SH1, criteria for development of key town centres, is particularly relevant in this case. The policy states that the proposals will be accepted provided they do not cause nuisance to neighbouring users or lead to loss of immunity. Well, I think parking in side streets may be difficult for people to come and go, causing a nuisance to residents who, who live there is a loss of immunity and does cause nuisance to, to neighbouring users. Therefore, I think, you know, it, it, as I said previously, it comes down to opinion. The planning officer's opinion is it's not going to cause difficulty. Whereas my opinion, and the opinion of the people I represented, it is going to cause difficulty. And I think you have, you can flip that 3.4 of the tech and use that as a reason for refusal. And that's, I would ask the committee to consider that this evening. Thanks, Jeff. Okay, it is open to, to members. Um, again, what your planning is about judgments, so I may have some comments to make, but the stewards. I was, um, <coughs> actually, I was looking at the planning history, the long planning history and the new book, of, uh, which includes some refusals and, and some um, approvals. And I look at one of the um, refusals and so further by some officers. And it turns out that the first attempt to build um, a shopping unit there, which, which uh, entailed the demolition of a couple of houses in June, uh, June Avenue, um, was refused on the basis that the floor area of the retail units, which at that point I think was um, planning to be four small units and one large one, uh, the amount of car parking space associated with the floor area of the retail units was insufficient. 
So the application was refused, um, and the uh, canal policy came back, reduced the area of the retail floor space, and increased the car market space. Um, and I think we, we approved it on that basis. Um, now, the initial approval was for four small and one supermarket size retail space. In other words, five separate units. Now, I understand the town has moved on and, and there's no longer five units in that uh, retail space. But there is two units in that retail space. One is the one that we're obviously the owners of the, uh, the entire space. And the other one I understand to be white one. Now, looking at the advertising um, consent, the signs for which they're, they're seeking permission um, require the people who park in the car park to be customers of home bargain only. Now, I know that's contrary to the reason that we refused it initially, that the floor area of the retail space uh, meant that they needed to be such and such car park. And now we're effectively saying that anyone who parks there to use the other retail uh, outlets in that same floor area can't park there. So they are, as Councillor Blakey uh, points out, displaced into side roads. Now, the reason for refusing initially, uh, when it was considered by the planning department that the car park was too small for the retail floor space, was community of surrounding areas. Now, it just strikes me that, you know, if, if we're going to, I would, I would have no objection, I have to say, if it was. You know, a, a control car park in space, and I understand why a retailer would want to control the space for you know a, a reasonable amount of time, like an hour and a half. But to make it dependent upon being the customer of only one of two um, users of the retail space for which the car park is associated strikes me as unreasonable and could result in the lack of money to the council like his put forth. That's my concern, that's why. I'm not minding in my own mind to support I can see there being displaced parking or problems for people who believe they can park there and use one of the retail units associated with that car park with impunity. <coughs> According to the signage, the advertising consent that we're being asked to, um, to agree to, they, they wouldn't be able to. And, and I, don't see that's, I don't see that that is in keeping with the previous refusals and previous permissions. You give on this side. Right. I, I think we're straying into yeah. areas that aren't really planning legislation. Clearly, any town centre, we all have them in our wards, there is an overspill. The, as I understand, the current council policy in highways is if there's enough people in favour that are prepared to pay for the implementation and enforcement, then it moves forward. The last time we tried it in West Kirby, they, they, they refused. They went against the, the, the consultation. Uh, so that's not within the remit of this committee. This is a planning application put forward by someone who owns a car park in, in a city centre. I think it would be very difficult to think of any reasons for, planning reasons for refusal, when we can quote a whole host of builder, uh, supermarkets, etc., who say for customers only. I can think again, let's get the only where you have to type your, your number in. The supermarket. So I think to to try and create a planning reason around, around the, the use of that particular the enforcement of it is then the other argument may be used that without any enforcement or, or sort of legislation at all, the car park could be full all day of people who are commuting or who are living or working in the shops and there'll be no movement to traffic and then all the cars will go into the side road. So there's, there's, there's good and bad in terms of some sort of regulation taking place because you get turnover in the traffic rather than the thing being full all day. So you can argue the judgments either way. I'm asking you as chair of the planning to actually deal with the planning issues around and the clear advice from the officers is this is retrospective, but had it, been, uh, had it not been, it would have been re approval. Um, I'm not. I, I don't. Can they just, just, just briefly come back? I mean, there's a similar, a similar situation in Prenton, the home bargain owned the building that's occupied by home bargain only, and, and a figure met on, on the. Uh, now, that, that is one, that, that has control parking as well for an hour and a half. 
but it is not for the exclusive use of home value because the building for which the car park is associated also has other customers and to displace those would have caused immediate issues for people in Clancy and clearly it was an issue there. Now I'm not happy that home value is seeking to take a car park that was for the entire uh, retail unit based on its floor area to itself and exclude the other features of the building. Okay, that's your your honest opinion, I respect that. Um, I'm going to move forward if, if you don't mind. Um, in terms of the officer's recommendation, um, and I'm not here to be a true refusal other than don't like it. Um, okay, well, I'm, I'm going to move what is, I know it's, these things can be a motive or, or whatever, but actually we are the planning committee and not the highways committee, we're not the business committee. We, Deal with the applications we have, and I've explained sometimes it's a difficult position to be in. I thought we were going to get away with everyone loving us on Valentine's Day, but that's clearly not going to be the view. So uh, I will move the recommendation for approval in item 7. Have I got a second there? Seconded by George. All those in favour of that in item 7? Okay, and those against? And similarly in item 8, I'm prepared to move the uh, issue in item 8 as a, for approval. And that's seconded again. All those in favour? And all those against? Okay. Right. So, despite my advice in the first item and having reasons for refusal prepared by officers, that advice is not long heeded. I won't get you out, out of the bail you out next time. You will have to dig up your own reason for refusal and make the officers out as I was first. Okay, does anyone want to do a meeting? Okay. Right, now I'll move through this with refusal. That's that's a start. I was taking the temperature of the meeting, it was clear, it's clear over there in my house, but I wanted to make up it to see whether any I didn't see it in the box at all. Okay, so we're gonna move on. As I'm aware, we have dealt with all the items on the agenda. I'm not aware of any of the business. Is that right? Okay, and thank everyone for their attendance and the officers for their diligent service. And enjoy the rest of what is the most romantic evening. <laughs> 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 <laughs>